G'day everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA here. Today we're going to run through a relatively quick example of how you can effectively use the all function. So I've used this in a number of videos because uh, you can utilize the function in a number of different ways. Um, and here's just another way, which I think is a really effective way to quickly find insight or differentials in your, or in your numbers. So in this particular instance, what we're looking at is we're looking at, say, our product sales that we make. Um, but I'm, instead of sales, I'm actually looking at average order size, right? And so if we come and have a quick look at the formula, this is not too difficult a formula because basically all we're doing is we're saying, okay, for every single product, let's go and have a look through every single order. That's what this values function does and average up the sale that we make on every single order, right? So that in itself is a pretty, pretty decent insight. So we could actually improve um, the way this formula looks as well. So, but you know, just from uh, this average order size, it's good to get your head around what this is actually doing. So you've got to think, okay, for this particular result, we are looking at, we want to calculate the average order size. So to do that, we need to iterate through every single order, work out what the total sales was for that particular order, and then average those all up. And that's what you can do inside this average X function. Okay, but then this is where the all statement comes in, right? What I want to do is currently we are looking at every single sale we've made in every single location, but I want to compare, say, one location to the uh, average order size overall. So we can see between any or uh, any state here, for example, well, if I select, say, New York, uh, or if I select, say, Florida or something, then I can look at the difference between the average order size for Florida versus the average order size of the whole, of everyone. So you can see here, as, a, as an example, that these products, we're selling at a much higher average order size than we are when we look at everything together. And so that in itself is really good insight, right? Really good insight. And you can really ask, you know, start to ask really good questions and say, okay, well, why is there an app? Why are these outliers here? Why are we selling these at such a higher price in this region versus, um, you know, the same, you know, similar products we're selling well below um, the average order size in other regions? So, you know, it could be to a number of factors. It could be um, because of the weather. It could be to do with your customer base. It could be um, to do with the, um, social socioeconomic group or something like that. So this is this is the sort of insight that would um, will showcase that. So how do I how do I get how do I compare it? So how do we get there? So we've got to do a couple of steps. The first step is this. This is where we're going to utilize the all function. And so if we come and have a look at this. I'm going to we're saying okay, all uh, all states average order size. Now we're going to calculate, and this is what um, the calculate function um, enables us to do. We're going to calculate the average order size, right? But instead of allowing that filter to happen, what we can do with the all function is we can remove that filter, and so we're gonna we're gonna say don't um, don't initiate any filter from state, no matter what happens in this report page, and that's how, regardless of any selection we make here, this number is gonna stay absolutely constant. So if I just flick through, you'll see. Um, so let's just pick one. So we'll, we'll go product seventy three here. So um, so I'm going to unselect product 73, and you'll see that, see here that it's 3774 is the um, average order size. But as soon as I select Georgia, you'll see that um, it changes from uh, that 3774 to 6133 for Georgia. But the the uh, average order size of all the states stays exactly the same, and that's how we then move in or we branch out then into the difference in order size, and we just reuse our measures like so. So it's a pretty cool insight, right? And um, I guess the, the key for this video is just showing how you could use the all function because the all function allows you to do all types of different um, comparisons. Like another one I've um, I've done in some of my models before is I, I've worked out, okay, well, what was the, what was the, um, the profit margins that we're making on um, our client base? But then we want to actually look at, okay, well, per region or per client, what, what, Profit margins do we make on them versus the um, you know versus the whole? Uh, so you, again, using the all function is the way that you're able to achieve that. Okay, so how hopefully you found this one uh, useful. Um, as I say, so many different ways you can utilize this. Good luck with your development in Power BI, and until next time, I will speak to you there. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. 
If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.